This is a how-to for Geoport Build 185. Here's a look at the box. This box is uh, an easy one to use on the front. You have your main power on. See, it's very bright out here, but there's lights um, on the dial is lighted. And right here you have your volume. Sounds like Bluetooth is on. To connect to Bluetooth, you'll use this here. It connected to my phone because I made the connection once before. To connect to your device, look for BT163 and connect to that. And it'll say connected. You want to turn Bluetooth off for running the uh, radio scanner. In the back, you have a, your uh, six foot cord to connect your radio scanner to. And right here is your charge port um, for your uh, 6.8 amp hour internal lithium ion battery. This is the charger that comes with the device. You'll go ahead and plug that into the charge port right here. Make sure the device is off while charging. And you'll see it light up green. You'll plug this into the wall. You'll see it turn red and it'll stay red until it's fully charged and then it'll turn green again. And then once charged, you can go ahead and disconnect it. Um, you could leave it, leave it plugged in overnight. Just don't leave it plugged in longer than that. It could uh, make the battery uh, wear down faster. I'm sending this charger with it. It's got a, I think it's a European connection on it. It also has an adapter to go to the US connection. If that works here is the radio scanner I paired up with this device I'll show you how to use it on the side you'll want to make sure the power is on uh, base boost is off and the volume is all the way up uh, you use this middle button here to select the AM band and then start the scan. Hold it for a second or two, and then you can let go and it'll keep scanning. If you wanna lock out this keypad so that it doesn't get bumped, you can switch this over to lock here, and it'll keep scanning. Um, then to connect to the box, take your uh, six, six Take your six foot, three and a half millimeter cord here. Um, if you're running it outside the box, you go ahead and run it through this hole in the back plate, like so. Then go ahead and plug this into the radio here, right there in the back. All right. Now the radio is scanning. Just turn on your main power here. And adjust your volume. Hello, my name is George Brown. Are there any spirits here who would like to communicate today? I'm going for best reception, so set it up here high. I can hear you. Right here at Union Hill Cemetery. It's in Bowling Green, Ohio. There's actually a little EVP right in the beginning. It sounds like a help.
And that's how easy it is to use. How many spirits can hear me today? I think I heard seven, I'm not sure. My name's George Brown, can you tell me your name? cruise around a little bit here before I head out. If there's any spirits that would like to speak, just go right ahead. That's the Civil War section, the oldest part of the cemetery. Are there any spirits that fought in the Civil War? Yeah, here is the Union Hill, original Union Hill Civil War section here. tell it's the oldest part of the cemetery. I want to thank all the Union Hill Civil War soldiers that fought for this country and for freedom. Thank you very much. soldiers around hearing me speak right now. spoke thank you for speaking help all right I have to get going now do you want me to come back soon all right thank you for speaking Go ahead and try to run the radio scanner on the inside. Everybody likes to be able to do that with these small boxes, though. It's it's uh, usually not going to be the same. It's going to create noise in the device, or it'll overly shield the device so it doesn't get as good a reception. Doesn't always happen that way, but I'll give it a try here. Let's see, turn it on. Start the scan, hook it up here. Mm 
may just get noisy. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, it's doing pretty good there. That's, well, this might be one of those ones that works properly in the side. Mm -hmm. 